Hello guys, my name is Ritesh. Today I am going to talk about Origin Pro 9 in which I am going to talk on how to plot basic graphs and how to make it more presentable for your thesis or your research work. So in this one for taking the data, if you want to take the data in the Origin Pro, you can directly go to this icon which is saying import ASCII, single ASCII by control K or you just click on this graph and wherever the data wherever your data is there just select uh, select that uh, data like in excel or text form or any uh, any format it can take it so i am going to take this uh, my data and just select it and click open so it will import the data in that one no need to copy or paste directly you can go from here so this is one extra i will just delete it and for plotting uh, you just select these both column or you can go directly click here also so after this you go, go to this uh, tab and here there are four options in which whatever you want you can choose I am selecting here line so in the line uh, this is scale something different so for rescaling we just hit control plus R so your all the uh, uh, graph it will come in the center so that you can see it now for making it more presentable you can do multiple things first thing uh, this border you can select more thick because uh, when uh, you go for your publication or your thesis it will look little more thicker than it will look good also so for this I have kept it already for you can change it also from here one two three four whatever you want i'm keeping it for so that it should not look uh, more bold also and also not look little thin for this one also you can uh, graph you can select here and go here and uh, click three or four whatever you want so it's three it's looking good and i want to change the color for changing the color you select the spectra and you go here this icon line border color click this one and if I want to give it a red click the red and for changing any uh, border you select the border double click and here you can see this is very crowded so I'll make it less crowded by increasing the increment from 50 to 100 let's see how it looks so it's look more good and also I want uh, this y axis also in scale you can just click the vertical in y axis increment is too small so I'll make it zero let's see how it come after applying it's uh, very because of because I'm starting from here let's starting from zero for y axis you make it just from zero to one and then click apply it will look like this so this is absorbance vector definitely I'm going to change y axis is absorbance and uh, x axis is wavelength only so and uh, this spectra here is for like my sample here if you want you can just double click uh, cut it and uh, just whatever the compound name is there like my compound in XYZ I'll just keep my XYZ and also this is not a proper looking spectra for your uh, publication because it has a lot of empty space uh, try to maximize uh, like fill this total spectra so that your spectra will look good so in this one like uh, this uh, graph is started from you can see from uh, started from this 200 so I will from uh, 200 I will make it start so that this uh, blank space it will get filled for uh, making it uh, just double click it look it's starting from 150 so I'll make it start from 200 to also this spectra after 600 you can see nothing no peak is there so I'll make it till 600 with the increment of 100 and click apply now it's looking look filled still some part is there I can make it more filled and also the absorbance value this upside is uh, not much uh, 
thing is there so I'll make it till 0 0.5 so for making it and this y-axis you, you just uh, double click it and from 0 to 1 instead of 0 to 1 you just make it 0 to 0 0.5 and also now you can see it's little bit filled and this one also it's looking good now for me it's very good spectra to show in your paper if you want make it little more thick you can make it thick because why I'm uh, making it more thick uh, when you will put in your research or in your uh, thesis that time uh, that uh, spectra you will compress it you will minimize it and then you will put it after minimizing it it won't look good and you cannot see like what is written over there so it's good to make uh, the lines thick and uh, little bold and also this uh, uh, in y axis and x axis it should be little more bold and more uh, the size should be little higher so here you can see this is 22 if you want I can make it like 26 also it will look good I am making it 26 so for here just 26 for changing it just double click it and change it from here and for uh, this thing also it's looking like little uh, not filled so I'll just double click it increment I will make it 0 0.1 so that it will get filled and it will look good now it's looking better and uh, now it's looking good for me and also make sure that uh, the value which you are keeping uh, all the numbers and uh, the letters it should have same font otherwise it won't look good and try to uh, keep uh, it same for all the graphs so for king I'm like making it little more bigger so that it should not you can double click it also from here also you can change it 26 so it will more bold and for here also I am making this XYZ 26 and bold bold all the thing bold will look good and I'm keeping it at the corner and uh, if you want you can remove this uh, line also so just right click go to properties and here you can see background black line you make it none and click ok now that line also will go and it will look good you make it wherever you want and just stay like this now this is a proper presentable spectra that can go in some thesis for keeping in some word file you can directly copy it like you just click outside of the spectra and click copy page and then if you want you go in some word file and paste it so now it's looking good if you if you minimize it also then you can see the whatever written things are there absorbance is written wavelength is written XYZ you can properly see that's why I'm making it bold one way uh, one other way is there that uh, you can export this graph not in this OPG format but in uh, image format for that you can go to file export graphs open dialog and then here image type you can see you can go to tiff or jpj whatever you want png i'm clicking tiff and here you can go below resolution you give good 600 resolution don't go for higher resolution because it will uh, like uh, after cropping and all it won't look good so go for 600 and wherever you want to save you just click it here you just save it so I am saving it on my desktop just click OK and then OK 
it will take one or two minutes depending upon your CPU and now it's saved on your desktop so okay now look this is a proper tiff file in the image format you can use it in word and uh, for pasting it just make it copy and go to your word file and just paste it this is also looking good compared to both I would like to go for this one this one is also good if I am making it big it will look also good same 